Hello friends, I am Dr. Bindu KS, Consultant Gynecologist and Obstetrician at Apollo Hospitals, Navi Mumbai. Today, we are going to discuss about BNC or dilatation and cura touch. It is a small and simple procedure where the lining of your uterus or womb is removed either to diagnose a condition such as in cases of heavy uterine bleeding or to treat certain conditions such as miscarriage or abortion. So friends, today we will see what is this DNC, how it is performed and what to expect during the procedure and how is your recovery after DNC and what are the complications associated with it. Coming to the types of DNC, as I said earlier, there are two types. One is a diagnostic procedure and the other is a therapeutic procedure. Diagnostic DNC is done where the lining of your uterus is removed and the sample is sent for examination in the lab. It is also called endometrial biopsy or endometrial sampling. This is done in conditions where you have abdomen or heavy bleeding per vagina or where you encounter bleeding after menopause or in conditions where your lining of the uterus is thickened which is called as endometrial hyperplasia which can happen with precancerous conditions of the uterus. This procedure can be helped or aided by hysteroscopy. Hysteroscopy is nothing but the camera check of the inside of your womb. That is, the camera is introduced into your womb and the lining of the uterus is examined with that and then a biopsy can be taken. Coming to the therapeutic DNC, where DNC is used to treat conditions like where suppose you had a miscarriage or an abortion, or suppose you had an abnormal pregnancy which is a molar pregnancy or certain growths or polyps which we say polyps are inside the lining of the uterus. So this therapeutic DNC is done to remove such growths. Now coming to how the procedure is performed and what to expect during the procedure. So this procedure the doctor uh, keeps you fasting or kneel by mouth few hours before the procedure. This is done with mild sedation and short general anesthesia where you are not awake during the procedure and you are laid on the operation table with your legs pulled up. Doctor cleans the area with an antiseptic solution and the doctor inserts an instrument called the speculum into your vagina. The neck of the womb is examined and the, the which is called the cervix and the cervix is dilated with either by instruments or with medication which are given prior to the procedure. Then the doctor uses some surgical instruments called the curet or the suction to remove the lining of the uterus. So what happens after this procedure? After this procedure you are kept in the recovery room for a few hours. You will be feeling a little drowsy or sleepy after the procedure that is because of the anesthesia effect. You will be started on liquids shortly maybe uh, 2 to 4 hours after the procedure and then if you are okay on the solid diet. You can be getting discharged the same day. You will be given painkillers and antibiotics also after the procedure. So you will be called for a repeat examination about one week after the procedure to discuss the reports and you can expect your menstruation sometimes early or late after the procedure within a month or so. Now coming to the risks associated with the procedures. The complications during DNC are rare but it can happen like you may experience mild cramping or bleeding uh, which can last up to one or two weeks after the procedure. Sometimes infection can happen and sometimes you may also get 
uh, perforation of the uterus which is actually very rare. Perforation means a hole in the uh, womb, in your womb. This happens when an instrumentation of the uterus is done. Actually, this happens very rarely and it happens with uh, soft uterus such as in a pregnant uterus or after the menopause. And usually if the perforation, even if it happens, is very small and it heals on its own. Very rarely a surgical repair might have to be taken. Okay, and very rarely another condition like scarring of the uterus lining, that is the uterus lining is destroyed after a vigorous procedure and this is replaced by scar tissue which is called an Asherman's syndrome. In this condition, the women can have absent or painful menses and it can even lead to infertility. But as I said, this perforation or Asherman syndrome are very rare complications of DNC. So friends, this is all about DNC and if you have any concerns or queries, the doctor is always there to address you. Thank you.